What does a day in the life of an employee look like when they are using an ACP system? So I thought a better way to show you this in context of total spend management would be to use SAP's own live system for its employee. I am an employee of SAP. I will have to anonymize some of the data. You will understand why. But it starts with a Fury Launchpad, which is the home page for employees where they can access requesting their holidays, managing their IT equipment, ask for help. All the activities that runs a business starts from this. But the employee today needs to set up a training room, have monitor, get this done. This is my job, let's say. And uh, I need to purchase a couple of different things. It will start with something quite easy. I need a curved monitor to put on the top of my desk. It's in the internal catalog. It's a matter of a couple of clicks to find the information and put it in. I also need a Camtasia license for the desk. Uh, to actually film and record just like I'm doing right now on this video and I'm adding this to my cart. Now I need, because I have a little technology thing that needs a special battery, I need the CR2016 battery. I'm going to search this and here what's interesting is it's not found in the catalog, in the internal catalog, it's not there. But because we've added a spot by catalog which goes to an external marketplace, it's still possible to find that battery, filter, find exactly the requirement that is needed, select it and see the delivery and the information about that uh, item to see if it matches my need. This one, I only have one, I need a two pack, so I'm gonna add this one to my cart. I have the information about the delivery. This is defaulted to my address of my company. In this case, the Netherlands where I am based. Now, I also need to have uh, access to an external web shop. This is the merchandise web shop of SAP because the uh, pupils will need some hats as giveaways for the one that are very good, for example. Now, I'm punching out, I'm literally going to a web shop and bringing it the information back that I need to complete my request. And at this point, I'm ready. I've created all my needs for my project. And now I'm going to maybe one thing here I need to do. I'm about to go on business travels and I need to make sure that someone watches this. So I'm going to add a colleague of mine to also collaborate on this. She will receive all the notifications. Now, this is it. I can send my request. The approval is there. It will be compliant and I'm done. I still need to do two more things. I need a project manager for learning and that will be from an external provider of my company and I will need to book some travels. So by accessing again in the same place, this time field glass, I get to the template that matches my need. I need to detail the can, you know, everything I need about that candidate. Uh, I will have a pool of people that will be presented to me and I can select the best person to do that job. Um, and this is compliant and will also manage the legal aspects about that activity. I will complete this later. For now, I'm going to search for a hotel. This will redirect me to the travel and expense uh, process of Conquer, where I can book those flights and later I will be able to send those expenses. Once again, all into one place. And this is uh, the total spend management in context of the intelligent enterprise, making sure that end users only have one place to go, to do everything. And the benefit of doing this is that they don't try to be creative and they don't try to find ways outside the system to achieve what they need. They do it there because it's easy. It's the default place to do. Bringing the compliance that everybody wants in procurement. And this is one little part of the intelligent enterprise of SAP because it also does cover processes around HR, supply chain, sales, finance, all those glorious things.